Hi everybody, Sid Garza Hillman here for another Approaching the Natural video. All right, it's time to talk about food. In my book, I talk about food one chapter of my book. Why? Because living healthy and happy in the modern world is a bigger picture than just food. And I try to simplify things for you and for my clients and for the people who listen to my podcast. So I thought I would do a video on it to show you how I come at nutrition. Uh, I want you to think about food as a box. Okay? Now, this box is genius because it was designed by my daughters. Okay? So there you go. All right? Okay. It's a special box. All right. Think about the outside of the box as the calories that you get from food. Calories are what we burn for energy. If something does not have calories in it, or at least calories that we can process, it's not food for us. Okay? So think about this. On the outside of the box are the different types of calories. There's three. Protein, that's on the outside of the box. Fat, that's on the outside of the box. And carbohydrate, that's on the outside of the box. All foods have different amounts of these three things. Some foods don't even have, white sugar has only carbohydrate. It doesn't have fat or protein in it. But all food generally have different proportions of those three things. Okay, that's the calories, that's what we burn for energy. It's like the gas that we put in the car. The car burns the gas to move. Okay, what's inside the box? Of any food, there are also different amounts of these things. Vitamins and minerals, antioxidants and phytochemicals, fiber and water. So the way that I talk about food is this. These go inside the box. Nutrition comes down to how heavy a box the food is that you're eating. Some foods, like white sugar, like I said, are all carbohydrate, and the box is empty. There's nothing inside white sugar. It's pure outside of the box. It's just carbohydrate. We can burn it for energy, but we're not going to be very healthy because it doesn't have any of the stuff that comes in the box. On the other side of that spectrum are things like Kale, lettuce, basically fruits and vegetables that have protein, fat, and carbohydrate. Yes, even fruits and vegetables have all three. But inside the box, they have a ton of fiber and water, phytochemicals and antioxidants, and vitamins and minerals. That makes them what I call heavy box foods. How healthy you are is simply determined by how heavy the box is of the food you eat most of the time. Not necessarily all the time. And remember, it's a big picture. So you can eat a really healthy diet, but you can be unhealthy because of stress in other areas in your life. So keep that in mind. But in terms of food, if you eat most of the time heavy box food versus light box food, your body will adjust to that and be at a certain level of health. If most of the time you eat light box or empty box foods, your body will adjust to that too. So let's go through the spectrum of light, empty light box foods all the way to heavy box foods. On the light box side, we have oil, okay? 100% fat, not much else with those calories, even coconut oil, okay? Added sugar, same thing. It's extracted, high in calories, not much in the micronutrient realm. White flour, same thing. Combine those two, by the way, and you get yourself your cookies. All right, there we go. And everyone's favorite, whey protein. It is high in calories, not much else. It's a light box food. All right, cheese. I know your mouths are watering. However, very high in calories, especially fat, pretty low in mostly micronutrients, dairy of any kind. Again, some stuff, not much. Probiotics get in the mix in the yogurt realm, but still a light box food. Now we got the animal flesh, which is a little heavier, but not by much, but it's a little heavier. And then seafood, even a little bit more. You got your, your omega-3s and things like that, but all in all, on the light box side. Eggs, a little heavier. You can, of course, move to DHA eggs. Great step, right? Nuts and seeds, still high in calories, but now we got the fiber coming into the mix, okay? A little more vitamins and minerals per calorie, making it a little heavier. Now we're moving into grains and beans. Same thing, okay? A little heavier now, a little more of the things that come with the calories until we hit, boom, fruits and vegetables. Those colors you see are from the antioxidants. That These are powerhouses of all kinds. Eat the variety. It all pays off, including potatoes. They're not the same as white flour and white sugar. Yes, they may be white, but they're not in the same ballpark, okay? And finally, vegetables. Most bang for your buck. They got the protein, fat, carbohydrate, but the highest levels of antioxidants, 
vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, okay? So now you saw the spectrum. Light box, empty box foods over there, heavy box foods over there, okay? Where you sit in your life is your body's gonna be healthy depending on where you sit. If you wanna move, take a little step toward the direction you wanna move, lighter or heavier, it's up to you. Okay, I wanna illustrate one more thing. The lighter and emptier box you go, the more concentrated the calories. Those foods that are lighter boxes have less with them, so they're more all about calories and less about vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, antioxidants, and fiber and water. As you get heavier and you start bringing in those things, the foods take up more space for the calories they deliver. So to illustrate that, I wanted to do a quick magic trick. These things were not in this box before, and now they are. It's unbelievable. Whoa, look at that. I had a rabbit in there too, but it, it, uh, it, it jumped away. Okay, so to illustrate this, I've got three apples, heavy box food, okay? You got your protein, you got your fat, you got your carbohydrate. Yes, all three of those exist in this apple, okay? But you have a ton of vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, antioxidants, and fiber and water making apples a heavy box food. Okay, the heaviest, no, but heavy, okay? It's all a spectrum. Let's not get caught up in the all or nothing kind of thing. Okay, coconut oil, okay? A light box food, not empty. There are some things that come with coconut oil, but not a lot. It's a concentrated calorie source, okay? But coconut oil is healthy for you. It's better than other oils. It's probably my favorite of the oils, but it's a concentrated light box food because the things that came in the coconut have all been stripped away to make the oil. 100% fat. Okay, so let's talk about this real quick. The space of this coconut oil and look at the space of these apples. The apples take up more space than the coconut oil. The apples on average 90s in per apple, depending on the size of the apple. Let's just say that these are 90 calories per apple. That's the conservative estimate. So let's just jump round up a hundred, a hundred, 300 calories for these three apples. 300 calories, okay? This jar of coconut oil, 3,600 calories. 3,600 calories, 12 times the amount of calories in these apples. Now, if you're looking for calories and you don't get enough calories to eat, find calories wherever you can. But if you have access to a whole bunch of different kinds of calories, the more heavy box calories you put in your body, the better your body's gonna function, period. Jets, how it works, you don't need to think about it more. Now, in that spectrum that I showed you earlier of light box to heavy box, I thought you might want me to go through the list of vegetables and fruits and, and break them down between the heavier and the lighter of those, of those foods, right? I'm not gonna do that, you wanna know why? Because you should go outside and go hang out with your friends, go read a book, go paint a picture, go write a song, go do something awesome and don't think about nutrition so much. If you're not as healthy as you wanna be, consider adjusting your diet and also consider adjusting all the stress in your life move into a little more of the heavy box foods incrementally over time in ways that are comfortable for you and don't add a ton of stress to your life, okay? Move a little more heavy box, but also move your body a little bit more and all the wonderful things that we can do in our lives, all right? That's it for nutrition today, okay? Heavy box versus light box. You decide where you wanna sit on that spectrum. Don't let anybody tell you where you wanna be, all right? Thanks, Sid Garza Hellman signing off. Check back for more videos soon. Oh, oh, oops. Okay, stop.